So, but there's a problem with that, right? In as much as it's good people traveling because they learn and then they come back and, you know, change their societies because mm-hmm. they get to learn from a variety of cultures and, and, you know, people. But how, how should we brand Africa in a way that individuals who go outside the continent or their country for that matter and learn, they're able to come back to their country and do good things? Because most of the times individuals who travel they wouldn't want to come back. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, no, I'm not going back. <laughs> You're asking me, a, this, this, is a, this is an emotional question right now for me, man. No, for real, for real. Mm. Because I'm like, you know, I think it's, it's important for us to understand this, you know. Um, as, as people, we have a responsibility to your family, to your community, and then to your nation as a whole. You have a responsibility, right? I mean, so you have you have a country that has raised you, a city, a family that have raised you from when you were born, let's say, until you were 18, right? Yeah. And you have the privilege, what is what is currently a privilege, but I don't think it should be a privilege of traveling, right, as African. Yeah. And you go and your perspective is forever changed by your travels. You come back well-versed in a myriad of solutions to problems that we have not got solutions for. So when you are overseas or wherever you are, you need to remember the responsibility that you have to that community. It is a miss for you to be able to, to, for you to, for example, leave a community, go and experience solutions elsewhere and just keep that for yourself. If anything, I would say that is probably the most un-African thing to do. And so, and so I'm not talking about, and we can get into discussions about black tax and mm. you know, this and that and that, right? And yeah. you know, no, but it's it's my life and I can do what I want with it. Yes, you can. You definitely can. But I think if we're if we're going to want to move this narrative forward as Africans, right? If we yeah. want to leave this place exponentially better than what we found it right? Yeah. We're going to have to find solutions from everywhere. Now, I think the solutions are going to be both in Africa, but we're also going to need the diaspora who are going to bring solutions into Africa, right? Solutions might be capital. Solutions might be systems. Solutions might be education, whatever it is, right? Um, And knowledge, right? And so whatever it is, we're going to need this team effort in order to get Africa to where we want it to be. Right, because yeah. somebody has to stay here. That's somebody sure. has to stay and manage this whole thing, right? Yeah. So if if we all decide, hey, me and my great English, I'm gonna leave and go to America, yeah. well, what's gonna happen to 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 those who cannot leave here? And I think that the most African thing that we can do is to provide solutions, you know, from wherever we are. If I if I find myself in 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 in, in Tennessee for 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 whatever reason, yeah. I need to look around myself and I need to say, okay, great, I've learned how to become you know, very great at administrating finance. Let me find people in Africa who are working at, at, at that problem and partner with them and provide them with solutions to be able to go forth and do the work. If you yourself are not going to come back, you know, let yeah. your knowledge come back. Let your finance come back, you know, let yeah. you let, let all of the other the other things that you can send, let that come back on your behalf. And I think, um, you know, and I think like a place like ALA is a great um it's a great, uh, how do I say this, case study for, for something like that, you know, where you have somebody who, who, who had an African problem and went further afield and found a solution and brought back a solution. Yeah. Is that person here right now? Not right now. I don't know. Really. You know yeah. Well, he's not in this room. I'll tell yeah. you that. Picture, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. And, so, and, so, um, and so those people who saw the problem sent something back you know, in order to make this place a little bit better yeah. than how they found it. And I think it's, 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 it's the most African thing that we can do. We have, we have smart individuals, creative individuals, right? Yes. Like people are very smart. Yes. And like, if you look at countries such as the US, mm-hmm. if you look like closely at it, it has been built by individuals who are not from the US, right? So like people traveling from their countries, going to the US yes. as the land of opportunity, sure. right? And they're not just people, like these are some of the most smartest, brilliant, creative and, you know, like amazing individuals from their communities that live and go to the US, right? And it's like, how do we now start working on also creating a brand such that when someone leaves, they can come back? Because if you take a look at it, like most of the individuals who are successful in their communities, 
the people or their community has played a huge role in helping them become successful or yes. helping them be where they are. So right? true. And like how Nyerere said, he said that when you give, when you have an opportunity to go to school, mm -hmm. it's the whole community that is trying to raise you, mm -hmm. right? And therefore, when you graduate, you have an obligation towards the community that supported you, yes. right? And I think we need to start cult cultivating a mindset such that if someone is successful or if they're doing great or whatever they are, yes. then they always remember that there's a place called home yes. and it's their first place. I mean, it's the place that they'll always go back to either alive or dead. Sure. And I think, I think, look, I'll tell you now, um, for myself and for my my network, you know, I've I've got nobody who's in my network right now who does not see that responsibility that they have. And I think it's important for all of us who are working on an African solution, whichever um, you know corner of the vineyard you are in, um, you know, whoever is working on a solution to an African problem needs to needs to you know cultivate that narrative and say, listen, guys, wherever we go, however successful we get, we're always going to help the next person you know, get one step up the ladder, yeah. you know, and that's how I think we're going to move this thing forward because also what we don't want, right? You spoke about the future of Africa and where Africa is a big boom, right? Yeah. Imagine all of the knowledge and skills leaves and then all of these talented people from other places come and they make Africa home, right? Yeah. And you are now excluded from that party. Because you decided to leave. Yeah, because you decided to leave. You and know. it's going to happen pretty soon. It, it is happen it's happening it, already. It's already happening. It's yeah. Happening. It's I mean, look happening. at us. Look at us. We're <laughs> in this place here. We're in this great studio and everything like that. Yeah. And, and and we are we are, we are are cultivating. We're, we're, we're literally chiseling the African, the Africa of the future. You know, we're creating yeah. it. And so, you know, if you are, if you are, wherever you are and wherever your listeners are listening to this, to this podcast, I think, you know, recognize the responsibility. Don't worry. It's not all on you, <laughs> you know, it's definitely yeah. a shared responsibility, yeah. you know, but as long as we all pick up our, you know, our little, you know, section of the, our square meter mm. of the, of the, of the responsibility, it'll be fine. And I think it'll be, and, and I think we will all, you know, sit back on a prospering Africa at the end of it all, you know, and yeah. we'll be, and, and we'll be proud of what we've been able to build.